actually went through the comments and trying to figure out what you guys actually want to see and what you guys want to learn from me because I am the Messiah as they say. Uh, I actually read that you guys really want to know the difference between sumo and conventional and actually how to deadlift. But to understand that you have to know why we do the deadlift and why it's actually called the deadlift. So back in the day, I think it was around maybe like 500 BC, and this is all actual facts that I actually researched. The Delph was created because you had a surplus of just dead bodies everywhere, and the reason that's where you get the dead part, and you had to do something with these bodies, so they lifted them up, but people were getting injured, and then they would die around the spot, and they were just like, it was just piling on top of each other, and they didn't know what to do. It was like a scene from 300 when all the immortals fell on top of uh, Leonidas. People always come up to me, Diddy, Diddy, why are you so cool? Why do you have a big penis? All that stuff. I'm like, hey, stop, stop, stop. They're like, not in front of people, you know, my mom's right there. But then they also ask me sometimes, especially if we're at the gym, like, hey, Diddy, like, should I do the conventional deadlift or the sumo deadlift? And I was like, first, you gotta understand why we actually do those two types. And the conventional is just easy, you know, it's just stand up like you're doing a normal squat or whatever. But then the sumo, sumo actually was created by sumo wrestlers, you know. And that one was created because after they had uh, finished and beheaded their opponent uh, during a sumo wrestling match, I think that's how it goes, um, they had to pick the bodies up, but then you know how fat they are, plus the company about how fat they are, they had to make room for their bellies to get in the way. So if you ever see a sumo deadlift being performed, it kind of resembles a sumo wrestler when they have their wide stance, and that is because they, the wide stance allows the legs to be open and for the belly to move freely. So now that you know that the sumo wrestlers have created the sumo deadlift, it's kind of like, whether you should do it or not, it's all preference. And I think the best way to figure it out is to try both. And the best way is just to try all the different types of techniques. So here's some of the deadlift techniques that I like doing. Uh, first, bring off the regular conventional deadlift, which is the most popular choice. The sumo deadlift. Cross like that look. The conventional sumo Della. Not to be confused with the sumo conventional. So after you figure out what deadlift you like the best, also figuring out what grip works best for you is really important because a good grip will also mean you're able to carry a lot more weight. So the first off, the one I teach everyone from the beginning is the over-under grip. And this one's the easiest one to do and it has the, the most likely chance of seeing this at a meet or at any other gym because the weight wants to roll forward in one hand and back or in the other so it basically creates a dead stop and really locks itself into your hands. The other grips that I like to use include the double overhand, the double underhand, the double under overhand, and last but not least, the 40 old version. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's my tip on how to do the deadlift. If you guys want to see any other type of videos or want to get help from me with something that you suck at, which most of you guys really suck at everything, I don't know why, um, leave it in the comments below and I'll get to those shortly. <laughs> if you Whoa. guys can only choose one workout or one movement actually Deadlifts. for the rest of your life, Deadlifts. which one would you choose? Shake and why? weight. Conventional deadlifts. Why? 